Mabuhay Southern Baptist Church History MSBC is a 2-hectare titled land donated by Mr. Rico Balatero Osorio and his wife Remedios Cadenti Osorio because of their love to God they came to love others and so decided that people surrounding the Osorio farm in Tay, Filgo, Mabuhay, and Canaan must have a church. This was the primary reason of Lolo Rico and Lola Miding, not because they have two hectares land to spare, but because they have love for God and so they had a portion of their farm donated to a church. Though the said donation offer was extended to pastors, it was granted to Mindanao Baptist Hospital Incorporated and soon transferred to Mabuhay Southern Baptist. The two hectare land therefore is entitled in the name Mabuhay Southern Baptist Church Incorporated, which means that the church land is not owned by a single person, nor by a few, but by all its members then, present and future. It shall not be sold or disposed in any way by anybody without legal process and documentation. Needless to say, the original purpose of the two hectare donation is for a church and a Christian or a Bible school run by the church. Lola Miding did not live long enough to see their dream come to reality. However, on July 17, 1994, Reverend Angelino Alfarax, Mr. Larry Ramos, and Mr. Albert Leal together with his son young people put up a tent and thus held the very first Sunday worship in Osorio Farm. 32 people formally named the body Mabuhay Southern Baptist Church on October 2, 1994, almost three months from its first Sunday service. During that day, church officials were elected including the creation of ad hoc committee headed by Mr. Ernito Brato, Mr. Picauco, Engineer Wilson Colobum, Mrs. Memar Osorio Tolentino, and the late Mrs. Cahaya Osorio Navarrete. On December 4, 1994, the church building plan presented by Engineer Wilson Colobum was approved which was shortly followed by the ground breaking on December 13 of the same year. While construction was ongoing, Sunday school classes were held under the shade of trees and under the almost rundown house of Lolo Rico and Lola Miding. On January 29, 1995, MSBC moved from the tent to its far from finished church building. And on October 8, 1995, MSBC celebrated its first anniversary with Pastor Carlos Luz Sunday as its guest speaker. MSBC is a product of a vision that led to obedience to Christ's Great Commission in winning souls and making disciples in the name of Jesus Christ. Reverend Angelino Alfaras, an evangelist to the nation and the world, organized a mission-minded congregation with the members trained not only a churchgoer but a trained soul winner. Despite the inconvenience of distance, hot climate, and lack of resources, Reverend Angelino Alfaraz, like Abraham, took a step forward and ventured to the unknown. He has seen what this place could become and has seen the future of a church in this place we once called wilderness, with just some trees and the house of Lolo Rico and Lola Medin as a refuge from the sun. The theme on mission with Jesus Christ was already conceived in 1994. Some people did not believe in the idea of building a church in the wilderness, as they once called this place, for who would ever come to a secluded, hot, and dusty place for Sunday worship? MSBC 
as BC started its mission with Jesus Christ in 1997, witnessing to neighboring subdivisions through Bible studies, crusades, and vacation Bible school that from 41 bona fide members, God had multiplied its number a hundred times over the years. In 1998, MSBC had two Sunday worship services, one in the morning in Osorio Farm and another in the afternoon at Mrs. Prieto's residence in Leon Liedo, City Heights. Through continuing on mission with Christ through Bible studies, MSBC had reached out to its neighbors in Take, Borderland, Walhati, Promised Land, Husun Village, Dapville Riverside, Habitat A and B, and Metinau. Conduct of vacation Bible schools in the summer has paved the way for sharing Jesus in some parts of General Santos City and Sorangani Province. Thus, Kawan Southern Baptist Church was born in 2003, Livingstone Baptist Church, Apopong in 2009, New Life Baptist Church, Barrio Balaan in 2011. In 2014, the church started constructing its newest church building in preparation for more souls to come to Jesus. Now, look what faith can do. MSBZ is an independent and financially debt-free church. Its total dependence, however, to God's love and mercy has become its tremendous favor and the only reason it stood the test of time. Community outreach programs like Bible studies, vacation Bible schools, and fellowships continue to work to make salvation only through Jesus known. To present, MSBC supports a church in Uil through Philippine Southern Baptist National Assembly of Churches, more known as PSBNAC. PSBNAC is an organization of Southern Baptist Church that are active in making Christ known to the nations. MSBC building and ground has continued to host fellowships with Philippine Southern Baptist National Assembly of Churches Incorporated or PSBNAC as the most recent. Organizations like Women's Missionary Union or WMU continue to reach out women and their families. Gospel writers mobilized to places and reached. The youth continues to influence their fellow youth.
as BC has been a family to the people it had touched. Lives have been transformed in Christ through Mabuhay Southern Baptist Church. All glory belongs to God.